Hey Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. I hope you guys had a well-rested holiday weekend. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Keep in mind this is a general reading and some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but any sign, all signs are welcome. All right, you guys, so I hope that again you had a very happy Easter Passover. Everybody's well rested. We're happy to be back here. And for me to give you the messages, as always, is my true passion and enjoyment. So we're going to take a look at, of course, the rest of April in love to see what messages we have here for you. And uh, yeah, as always, if you want to be a member of my channel, just go ahead and click that join button for $9.99 a month. Um, price of a cup of coffee each day and you can pop in my live streams on Sunday and get mini tarot readings from me at no cost. All right, you guys, so let's get started. What does Virgo need to know for the month of April 2023? Okay, so you have the snake, but it fell out in reverse. Um, this is a card about competition, enemy, cleverness, maliciousness, looking over the shoulder or the other man or the other woman. It fell in reverse so tells me that um, no more sneaky behavior showing up here so let's see what else is going on um, no more competition somebody's dumped a third party if that's your message so be it if not we'll keep it moving and also you've got talking okay so there's going to be some conversations um, Someone interested, conversing more, and awaited a message. An awaited message arrives. A text, a call, an email. Okay, and what else is going on here? Okay, and hand of cards showed up in reverse. So up in the upright, this would mean taking a chance, a risk, being strategic, options, not showing their hand, and gambling. Okay, I feel like somebody here is being very strategic in the sense of like. Um, not taking a foolish risk, but being very intentional with communication with you. Okay. Um, hmm. That's very interesting. So Virgo, expect some type of communication, text, email, or a phone call from someone in April. And it seems to me like there's going to be a message about someone who's actually going to reveal the cards that they have. If that meant that they were being sneaky or someone who was competing with you or being um, like the truth is coming out is what I hear. Okay. At least that's a message I'm intuiting here. Let me see what the Romance Angels message is for you. Okay. So there's definitely flirtation. Someone extending their lighthearted energy to you and some playfulness as well okay which is uh recapturing romance by being flirtatious uh, or just it doesn't have to be flirtation but more along the lines of like keeping things very calm and okay and passion is in the reverse when have you ever known me to read these types of cards in the reverse never but the way it's coming out that's the message i'm giving um passion hmm yeah I feel like that's being put on the back burner because it feels like there's some conversation that needs to be had um, somebody wanting to talk to you or have some kind of conversation with you does not involve passion um, it involves clearing maybe some circumstances or a situation um, in regards to like it, it just feels like let's deal with the most pressing issue here and somebody wanting to have a conversation or talk to you and kind of sort through some problems or work some things out before the passion pops in okay because I feel like the passion's already there um, or at least it will be showing up uh, it exists between two people but it feels mostly like okay we're gonna keep our passions aside um, and not jump back into bed again or not um, go that route let's just put that aside and have the conversation first now Virga you might be saying to someone uh, you know what before any of before we get into that bedroom um, let's go have some coffee and meet in a public place and try to work things out or talk first um, and or this person saying this to you are you both agreeing yeah every time we connect or we get intimate with one another whether it's just light kissing or affection um, it feels like it snowballs and it turns into more and then you guys never resolve your problems you just kind of mask it with this physical intimacy and it feels more along the lines of 
you know what, we're, we're just not going to do that yet. <laughs> we're not going to do that right away. Um, and we're going to try to work things out or talk through things here. Okay. So uh, definitely a conversation to resolve some issues. Okay. What does Tarot have to say? Okay. Ace of Wands. Definitely a new beginning and growth happening here. Okay. New, new beginnings. Brand new starts here and nurturing a relationship so that it can uh, like feeding it so that it can have some growth here okay and there is passion though it's hard to resist i feel like this person it's taking a lot for them to not want to just reach out reach over and kiss you or touch you or um you know go down that path with you which is a very lovely path but it feels to me like you definitely do something for somebody here in that area so that doesn't seem to be a question at all um well, look at these aces it's all about the new beginnings i mean the whole entire thing screams to me that because this person is so passionate about you they know that um there's some things that they need to respect and understand in order for a relationship for you to even go down that road with them like th the opportunity has to be there and some kind of like solid offer or bloody stump needs to be shown and I feel like somebody here knows that and it feels like they're going to initiate or take action in those regards because this person looks at you like the empress okay the empress is here the empress is like the queen of queens the king of kings okay um the mother hen the father hen father rooster i don't know what the hell am i saying so yeah the empress definitely sits here with all the glitz and the glam and the beauty and the abundance and uh, the nurturing and the empress is all about creation um i don't know virgo this person seriously i feel like has made a decision to um they're trusting their intuition about you okay it could be a libra or a taurus but they're trusting their intuition about about this relationship and how they need to approach you okay so the four of swords is here there's healing definitely in regards to this this relationship let me see what else is going on here virgo oh my gosh virgo you do not have three aces in this reading thus far oh my gosh there's so much new beginning happening here oh, virgo I, like this makes me want to cry for you okay um if this is someone that you already know um this could be a, a i mean we don't have reconciliation so i'm not going to jump too far into that it, it's possible it could be but for others um i feel like you're going to be if you're meeting other people or just whatever's going on you're attracting the energies um of others and i feel like there's this thing when people meet you in april or they just get a sense that like you're gold you can't listen knights can't approach empresses <laughs> they just can't pages cannot approach um the only one that can approach the empress is the emperor okay and vice versa so i feel like that's why this person is coming in with like this element of respect maybe they were a snake before in the past um are com very like competitive or um being mischievous in the past with other people but it feels to me like when this person sees you um or how they view you is when you're going to approach an empress you need to be on your absolute best behavior you need to be respectful you need to respect her boundaries um you cannot be a peasant and approach an empress for um like you can't come in with that knight of wands energy because she will just slash you down and say get out of my face the empress is basically like uh you know you're gonna have to raise your vibration up here to me to be equal with me and it feels like that's your commandment for people that you date going forward and it's it's not because you look down on others it's because you respect yourself and if other people feel like they're being looked down upon because you're respecting yourself that's a they problem not a you problem you always should be respecting yourself and because people will try uh, lovers will try you children will try you kids will try you to, to break your boundaries to you know bend for them so they can get what they want so that they don't have to unbend themselves 
and uh, so that if the if the bar is not risen for them, people will try to lie, cheat, and steal. I feel like somebody here is viewing you as I have to approach Virgo. I have to approach this person differently than I've approached others um, in the past because Virgo is not having anything less than what Virgo deserves. Okay, and that is to be respected now some of you i will say this could be something new for you some of you might have been in a position in the past where you lowered yourself to get your needs met by someone who was too who was not worthy of you and if that's your situation or was in the past you've obviously changed that i see here in april or at least in april you'll give off that energy and that vibe this person sees you as like a wish come true for them <laughs> and yet they're they're they know like if if you gave them the opportunity virgo to um just run wild with passion they would be on it like crazy but there's some message they're receiving here from you that you um you're not standing out there on the street corner so to speak and just giving anybody your time it just not to just anybody you um you want someone who's as worthy as you're seeing about yourself someone who respects themselves and will respect you as well okay so yeah this person is not taking um a risk with you in the sense where they could ruin it that's what i mean um the fool in reverse is someone who um you know is kind of the fool in reverse can tend to be careless um, at times and maybe be absent-minded, okay? Um, and I think there's something going on here with this person. They're just telling me that when they uh, get around you, they can be very absent-minded or forget themselves because you just, you got that empress energy here, Virgo. You're just glowing. Um, so I feel like that's a message, <laughs> Virgo. Um not to be too hard on them because um you don't have to change your your rules for yourself for your boundaries um this person i, I don't know if they struggle with that like absent-mindedness they forget themselves very codependent or very dependent on like they hang on your every word um your every deed everything you do what you say how you how you respect yourself like and I feel like this person is like blinded at times by how amazing you are. <laughs> and I know I can hear some of you are like, who, 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 like a bunch of owls in the, in the chat there. Um, let's, if a court card shows up, I'll give you it specifically. But I feel like this person just kind of looks at you like, maybe they don't, f look, okay, Virgo, you can't with us. You have four aces in this reading and i've only pulled four five six seven eight nine ten eleven cards you know how many cards are you generally out have out here you have four aces so as far as like when's this going to happen it's going to happen like immediately it's already happening how this person is viewing you right this second um and they want to talk to you okay but they they don't want to approach you in the energy that they were in before but they want to be clear and concise and try to overcome any kind of obstacles. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. The, for, for a lot of you, this is not somebody you know. This is somebody new or a whole new energy coming in. Well, just because we don't have a person, so to speak, it's a new energy, okay? So it, it could be a new energy of a, another relationship you had before that failed, or it's a new energy in uh, a, a bright new beginnings happening here in April. I mean, April is all about new beginnings in the spring. So I feel like cutting through... Um, Cutting through the BS is what I'm hearing. Cutting through the BS. Okay, this kept coming out here. Okay, yeah, This so this person's getting some serious karma's coming back to them for sure. Um, oh, justice in the reverse. Virgo, this feels like someone who, um, coming in with the truth about how dishonest they were, um, whether that's to you or just in their life in the past. Um, they could be going through a divorce or maybe they cheated. Um, and there is definitely an energy of a separation or a divorce that they could still be going through this right now if you meet them. But justice overall in the reverse feels like this person coming in and communicating with you about um, 
maybe they were a bigot I'm hearing or um, they lied about legal problems or um, they have lawsuits or things that they don't they they don't talk about they're just an energy of being very dishonest okay and uh, now the truth is all coming out okay all right do you know it's so funny okay so the two of pentacles is here i was thinking about this card today i mean this legit was me in my in my my fitness pal app trying to balance my calories in calories out <laughs> and i was thinking i was still working on that and the two of pentacles popped in and i'm like this is exactly <laughs> the roller coaster ride of calories in calories out right um but anyway i feel like this is an energy of like trying to i'm hearing borrow from peter to pay paul i'm also hearing um trying to work things out here trying to balance things out in this connection um or just in general in this person's life and um you know whatever's going on with them trying to neutralize the roller coaster of emotion and the up and downs in their life this person um maybe started some new medication or somebody maybe started a new medication they're trying to get their medication balanced combinations of of pills um, it's just two things that they're working with right now and they're trying to bring things into balance and uh, like weighing their options or which is the better um, thing to do here which is the better way to approach something um, and it's also an energy of multitasking and working on a lot of different things at one time but it's also about two choices and I feel like this person you know is, is definitely sitting here right now like what is the best way to approach Virgo without offending Virgo or without being disrespectful um, or with honoring Virgo's you know um, needs or um, you know not people pleasing i don't feel like this person is coming in here like this but because i feel like this person wants to get their needs met and do what's right for them but also for you at the same time so having that kind of even balance in the relationship or in this connection here i don't feel like someone is, is just wanting to give 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 to your give to you and then leave nothing for themselves so that that gives me an energy or a message that this person is trying to also balance themselves out you know um and also looking at, um, you know, past mistakes that they've made in the past, and all, but also counteracting and balancing that out with the good choices that they've also made. So coming into this place of harmony within themselves, but also needing to tell you the truth about who they were, or to clarify or, or give validation if you were involved with them about what they were doing in the past and, and why... Um, why they were dishonest i was going to say why there's shame but i don't know why that came up for me um because i don't see anything here that says shame so it might be more along the lines of like why they struggled could shame be involved or things along that line those lines sure but it feels more like why they struggled um in their relationships or in a relationship in the past or with you okay so let's see what else is going on here okay so the high priestess virgo this you are like you already know like you've already intuited this having someone come forward and tell you the truth um usually when people come forward and tell you the truth about something you already know all it really does is validate what you already know and i feel like you're going to get that um and, and that's a strong message for me to tell you to trust your intuition because what you're thinking right now is true about this person or what you will be thinking is true all these major arcana so yeah and what you're thinking here about this person i see virgo again with the balance and harmony is um I don't know. I I don't see you being very rigid in one way thinking with this person, um, but I do see you respecting yourself and um, not trying to control what other people do, but controlling what you do, controlling not how people treat you, but how you react to tr how people treat you. And that's where you're taking accountability. And this is growth. This is the growth that you're having. And saying to yourself, well, you know, uh, per person A did this, this, and that. And so it's not about as much what they did, but 
what I did in reaction to that or how I dealt with that or did I own the negative things that were said to me or I'm rubber your glue and I, I did I bounce it back off of them like it, it feels more like you, you're more looking at yourself and you have been and it looks more like you are coming to know who you are which is a beautiful thing um you have a deep understanding here <laughs> Virgo or at least in this reading and uh, I just feel like for you <sighs> I don't know, Virgo. I just kind of get a sense that you're like, I just feel like you're, you're, you're good. I, I don't know how else to say this. Like you're owning up to, or you already have owned up to your, um, I don't want to say mistakes because I don't really feel like mistakes is the word. I feel like you've owned up to the decisions and choices you've made and you've learned from them. I don't ever feel like, I mean, I guess in hindsight, you might say that something was a mistake, but at the time it wasn't because at the time you believed that that was the right thing for you to do. Okay. So maybe it's more like looking back and saying, well, I made that decision back then because this is who I was or because this is the pressure, the stress I was under. Right. And instead of, instead of, downing yourself about or having regrets it's kind of like saying well that's the decision I made back then because that's what I was that's how I was handling and that's all I knew at the time about what I was dealing with now looking back you can say to yourself if that situation comes up again I know now how to handle the situation right so if you're going to handle it differently next time that means you've grown and you've learned uh, I don't know why they took me down that road, Virgo, but uh, yep, and there's your sign. That was what you needed to hear. <laughs> All right, let me see. What other messages are there for Virgo? Okay, yeah, this person's just a lot of anxiety. Okay, a lot of stress and anxiety here and trying to free themselves and make changes. Definitely coming towards you um, and making changes here um, to uh, start anew, leave the past in the past. Interestingly enough, there was no court card. So I'm not going to call out um, a specific sign. Um, I can tell you that almost all the signs are here. But I want to say to you this, Virgo. If you're listening to this and it's like, oh no, this is resonating 100%. Even if it's not resonating about the other person, but it's resonating for you about you, then this is your message and leave it at that, okay? So let's get into messages of love. See what the messages of love are here for you. Whoa, I'm not taking all those. Messages of love for Virgo. Self-care. There you go. I love it. Clearing your energy field and focusing on yourself before acting. That's what I'm talking about. So you definitely are going to have somebody coming in and apologizing and giving you clarity and telling you all about their mistakes and, and everything that they've done and owning up to stuff themselves. Um, and I don't feel, I don't know if you need that to hear that. It might help. It might not. I don't know. But I feel like this person and you are, are both in self-care energy, so that's good. And if this is somebody new, it might be really refreshing for you to hear someone say, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes in the past, but I'm not regretting. Uh, I, I've learned from them, and it might be really refreshing for you to hear that because there might be an opportunity for you and this person, whether it's new or someone you're currently connecting with or whatever your situation is, for you guys to actually bond over that, okay? So I love the self-care card. I do, because I think this is mostly to do with how you've handled situations and how you're going to be handling them differently. I just saw a card flip. Here we go. Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? So, and about self-care. I mean, I love this Virgo. Virgo's like, if there's one sign that's going to learn from past decisions and choices, it's going to be Virgo. Nobody can tell Virgo. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo is the heart. The only person that's the hardest on Virgo is Virgo. Virgo sees every imperfection and mistake that they make themselves. They don't need other people to tell them because it's, if anything, it's annoying because Virgo's like, you don't think I know this? <laughs> Virgo's generally the one, one that's going to be the first one to point out mistakes and everything, but most especially in themselves, right? So I feel like you don't really need me to tell you if anything, maybe I'm just validating what you already understand about yourself, but I feel like 
this card does the situation align with your values and morals is all about your self-care you getting involved with someone the question is are we going to be in alignment are we going to be equally yoked because relationships it doesn't matter if you're opposites it doesn't matter if you live on different sides of the world or it doesn't matter if you come from different socioeconomic backgrounds or one person has been cleaning houses their whole life and another person is a ceo of I don't know, a, a Fortune 500 company, it does not matter. What matters is, are you equally yoked in your beliefs? Are you equally yoked in your values and your morals? Because that's where the bond gets made, okay? And, and part of that is about understanding, I think for you, um, who you are and what your beliefs, morals, and values are. Okay, um, and part of your self-care journey is understanding self. What do you want? What do you believe in? What are you willing to bend for? And what are you not willing to bend for? How, how are you willing to sacrifice your beliefs and your morals and values in order to have a plus one, no matter who they are? Or have you come to this place in your life where you're like, you know what? I love myself too much that I, I don't... I, I'm not going to sacrifice who I am to be like, not listen, when I say sacrifice who you are, that is basically selling your soul to the devil. You're not supposed to do that. You can make tiny sacrifices for someone that you love. That's what we do for each other. T little sacrifices here and there, but we don't sacrifice our entire soul and being to another person um, because that's, that's like a hijack situation. <laughs> like, so I feel like for you, Virgo, it's, it's, like you're not in that situation you might have been that person maybe in the past who did everything for another person to the point where you lost yourself that is not healthy and so i feel like that's why boundaries are really important and there's a lot of lessons that you're learning here these readings always are turning into your into about you right um let me see like if you have a certain routine um like, I'll give you an example. Like, I, I hit the gym every day at 2 o'clock, seven days a week. And that's my, that's my ritual. That's my routine. If there's an emergency, look, balance. If there's an emergency, I'm going to have to break that. If somebody needs me for an emergency. Otherwise, everybody has to wait. And I'll be, when I get back, when I have my free time and I get back, um, I'll be available. Um, but basically, it's not, and it's not like, okay, you know, somebody can't call me, but I, I prefer to, I prefer to tell people, hey, this is, this is me time right here, and I need to have this. And um, I hope that you respect that, and I will reach right back out as soon as I'm finished. And that's about giving balance. So this card here, when you have your routine, it's, it's, I, you love yourself enough to honor yourself to whatever means that is and it's not about giving those things up to make somebody else happy to the point where it, it's not really necessary i hope that makes sense okay so it's all about balancing and one person is giving too much in this relationship and i feel like that's what i was talking about things have to be reciprocal there has to be like the two of pentacles you know like with my fitness app with my fitness and my eating it has to be reciprocal they have to dance together in order for things to be progressive right um it it, it doesn't help to go to the gym and work out and burn a thousand calories and then go home and eat four thousand calories it's you've wasted your time do you know what i mean like I'm, i just but i'm not a fitness expert i don't know anything that much about it but i just know like some things in some things out things have to balance between two it's the yin and the yang they have to come together beautifully and in order to be progressive right so some of you have learned this lesson um, you know, I can give to you, but I can also give to myself, right? Because if the well's dry, if mommy ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. If the well's dry, if you've taken everything out of that bottom of that well, all the water that you have to quench the thirst of another person, when you go back to quench your thirst because you're exhausted from carrying that heavy bucket back and forth to that person, when you go to quench some water, there's nothing there for you. And if you can't nourish yourself, how can you nourish another person? And that's all about self-care and love. 
So it's, is it selfish to put yourself first? Yes. Is it negative? No. It, it sounds that way when someone says extremely selfish, but that's not what it is. It just means, you know, if you die tomorrow and I haven't finished and I've been sacrificing everything for you, I will have nothing to show for the time that I've done for me. Sure, maybe I'll get into heaven, but at the end of the day, I don't think God put me on this earth and wanted me to become a martyr to every single person I met. I do believe that uh, he wants me to be healthy and happy and honor who I am and also love myself, right? So everything in balance. And here's the awakening. You're undergoing a spiritual transformation or well, awakening as well. So this is beautiful. And I feel like another person is too. Okay, yeah. For some of you, this is a past life love, past life situation. And also friendship. A friendship that could be leading to more... Um, so for some of you, this could be a past life relationship that you've just uh, said will just be friends and there might be, um, a blossoming of that, that could be leading to more. Um, for some of you, this is just a friendship and you've just been overdoing it with a friend and not setting boundaries with them and are getting to that place where you're questioning now. Um, is this the person, because you've changed and you've grown, you could be questioning now, is this a friend, um, a friend for a lifetime or is just a friend for a season or is this just a friend for you know a, a, a very even shorter period of time who is this person and 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 what is their role what is our role in each other's lives and is it time to let this person go or um is this is this a is this a fair weather friend or is this someone friend or lover that is is here to stand the test of time okay what does this other person want to say to you virgo all right, they wish they had treated you better. Okay, if you knew them before, and they wish, and so if you knew this person before, these are your messages. They wish they could take back their words or take <clears throat> their decisions back. <coughs> Excuse me, um, because our life is not together as it seems. Mm, okay, they might have told you that um, they were in a better position in life than you were. That's kind of cruel. Um, or they, they may have just told you that, um, you know, everything was fine with them and they don't need anything and they, you know, they don't need you or whichever, um, but they wanted you or, or they didn't need anything from you in life, but they just wanted that passion um, and only that passion. And like I said, now this person wants to approach, but they're not approaching in that way because it looks to me like they're getting the energy from you that... Um, you're not listen there's an old saying it's never too late to raise your standards it is never too late to raise your standards if you had a situation in the past where your standards were low and you just feel like what's the point now that's like saying well you know I've put on 30 pounds and I've eaten so much junk food what's the point in trying to change I mean that's such a cop-out right because you're still alive you're here today why not why not raise your standards? Why can't you? What are you afraid of? Losing? <laughs> Who's afraid of losing weight if you've gained 30 pounds, right? That, what is that? What is it that you're losing? You're losing the excess that you don't need. So if you've got someone in your life who is not treating you well, um, and but you refuse to, to raise your standards, you know, that fat's going to be hanging off your hips for as long as you allow it. Um, if you change your mind and say, you know what, I'm raising my standards, I'm making some changes, and if I lose someone who is just hanging off of me and not bringing benefit to my life, that's only going to be a plus for me. And I don't mean to say that a person is horrible, another person is a bad person. It's all about you and what works for you and, and how, you know, how can you fly when you have sandbags still attached to your balloon cage like you've got to cut things certain things free and if and I'm not saying for you to do that with someone here I'm just saying if that's a position you're in it, it looks like you um some of you need to just understand that and you can't do things for other people like people have to learn to love themselves you can learn you can show them how um I, there was a quote I didn't come here to teach you love I came here to love you love will teach you there you go. So this person lost themselves for a little while. Um, and they have to let you go. Um, and I guess they want you to know that it was really hard for them to do that. And while they let you go, they got lost. 
It looks like they're trying to find their way back to you, Virgo. Okay. All right. That's for those of you who had um, a past connection. Let's see what the Moon by Tarot messages are. Okay. Arguments and separation. Okay. It did show up in reverse. So there could be a coming back from that. And also new passionate start in reverse. I'm telling you. Oh, there's definitely a new start, but it's not going to be with passion. Because I, f I don't feel like the passion's not there. Like I said, I just feel like this person is... Uh, not they can't approach you in the same way that they used to um, because that I guess that's not going to work for you but there is a new love start here definitely um, not a passionate start it's not going to be all about the physical it's going to be about the love that's what I'm trying to say um, now what I was saying is the arguments of separation that showed up in reverse and I flipped it back so there might have been a separation with you and another person or some type of arguments or someone new that you meet has separated from someone because of arguments and things not going well and that might still be going on they're still separated like I said before somebody's going through a divorce or separation um, but I don't know Virgo there's something different about you here um, like I said you've you've risen you've you've glowed up you're in the you're in the um, Empress energy now male or uh, masculine or feminine you're in the Empress energy where you are like you've risen you've you've your crown is permanently attached to your head now and it cannot crooked itself okay let's take a look and see what your romance um, I'm sorry your Chinese signs are here okay so you've got you're the snake isn't that funny we started with the snake and we started with the snake again okay you've got year of the goat now this could be you or the person that you connect with um this got year of the dragon year of the monkey year of the rat year of the tiger year of the rabbit and year of the pig okay all right we're going to move on to some names and other randoms okay hmm. okay so i'm seeing a same sex relationship here and also uh somebody is doing some yoga or getting into some meditative physical activities or inactivity <laughs> Medi some meditation um i'm also seeing somebody might be 42 or they had they're in aries okay okay let's see hmm um all right i'm so do you guys did somebody like does axe throwing i'm seeing axe throwing as like an activity a physical activity um let's see Um, and also someone is African-American. Hmm. All right. And I'm seeing somebody with a mustache. These are interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So they're giving me a red cardinal. So if you see a red cardinal, is that what a cardinal is? Red? A red is it a red cardinal yeah that's definitely if you see a red cardinal or you've seen one recently um, that's a strong message for you okay and also somebody's initial starts with an S okay all right so something happened on April 7th and or April 8th maybe the the time between the 7th and the 8th maybe around midnight or something happened i'm also picking up someone was born in 1978 which i think is the year of the snake isn't it i think okay so i also have the initial p someone's name has the p starts with the p ends with the p initial p well, so it's PSSP and okay, somebody has platinum blonde hair or very light blonde hair. Okay, and mm. all 
All right, they're just giving me the name Marilyn, Marilyn, or Maryland. Could be the state, Marilyn, or Marilyn, or Maryland. <clears throat> okay, and, huh. All right, I see somebody, uh, a couple of people working at working on creating an innovative new technology program okay i don't know what that means it's there's an innovation of some sort crafting creating uh, working on some type of new technology program that's what they're saying so they initially gave me 8g um, and I don't know if that exists. I know we're up to 5G, but I'm hearing 8G. So to me, like, I don't know if it's exactly that or if it's something to do with either learning about that or um, something to do with computers or a tech, technology, tech, electronic type of maybe software, working on some kind of software project or someone's teaching another person about some kind of a software project. I didn't have a lot of names today. Maybe I think I just had one, but um, let's get over to your, your dice. Okay, we have a Virgo, we have Scorpio, you have Capricorn and Libra. Okay, and also... Um, Okay, so they're giving me the numbers 501, um, 413, 511, and all right, these numbers in any order. So 10003. Okay, 10003. Okay see some September birthdays August and September okay oh somebody's born in 69 they're just saying that someone is 50 okay September 3rd September 9th um, wow we've got nine nine we've got four nines nine 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 I don't know it, it, would you be seeing something like that did you see that 99 99 Significant nine always represents completion, endings, accomplishments, transition, and understanding. Okay, um, somebody could have been born September 9th, 1999. What a birth date! <laughs> September 9th, 1999, or there's a connection with that number somehow. Okay, and we also have did I say September 12th? I think I did, I'm not sure. All right, um. Okay, August 23rd, August 24th, 26th, also um, September 1st, September 16th, and um, September 13th. And September 21st. Okay, we have someone who was, all right, 30 years of age here. We have someone born in 1970, someone also born in 1990. Um, somebody, there, there was a baby born in 2019. I see that here. Someone's also 61, uh, 33, 42. I feel like I said that already and also 24 and someone's address numbers is 104 or 401 it's one or the other all right virgo so i'm going to leave your reading there for tonight i hope that that you enjoyed that 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 and i will be back here tomorrow to do your um other <laughs> wait wait today's tuesday no, tomorrow I'm going to come back. This is obviously just going to be your love reading for the week. <laughs> tomorrow I'll be back here and we're going to do a general reading. Okay. And if love shows up, love shows up. But then we'll take a look at career, health, other outlooks, other events, things like that, that could pop up, more predictions, that kind of stuff for tomorrow. And then, of course, Thursday will be your weekend love reading. Okay, you guys. And I hope you're enjoying the shorts. I'm trying to release one short a day and I'm trying to do Virgo with, the, with a particular sign. Um, so if you haven't seen it, I know shorts are kind of like, 
I, I thought I would try to do them. I don't really care be, like to do them because I, there's part of me that's like they are not really community. There's not a lot of community involvement with them because I like being here with you guys and doing the long readings so that, you know, we all have that connection there. But I thought I would try to start doing them. So if you enjoy them, put a like on the video. That would really, really help me. Um, and that would also let me know that you do like the shorts. Okay. So yeah. And if you like them also mentioned here in the chat or in the chats going forward. All right, you guys. So I will be back here tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you later. Bye.